Hi everyone, welcome to the solution of physics JE Advanced 2018. By the way, let me tell you, for the first time in history, JEE Council this year conducted the examination in computer mode, what we normally call as CBT mode. And two days after the main examination, JEE Council has released the question paper in the web. And on the basis of that, we are here to present the solution. So I'll be taking physics and right here we'll be talking about paper one. And first of all, in section one of paper one, you have six questions where there are more than one options correct. Like the previous year, this time also JE Advance has maintained a partial marking scheme, but I will not be going into the nitty gritties of partial marking scheme, we'll be directly focusing on the solution part. So here, question number one with more than one option correct. This one is a very straightforward question and a regular question. Any student who has practiced through our regular textbook can wonderfully sail through this question. A particle is there whose potential energy is given by this much and k is a positive constant, r is the distance from the fixed point. And in this potential energy function, a particle is moving in a circular orbit of radius capital R. And on the basis of this particular thing, mind you, this is not potential, this is potential energy. We need to calculate the speed and the magnitude of the angular momentum. So here I have the potential energy which is given as kr square by 2. So the first thing is see, let's try to go with the solution part. And here is this thing. The potential energy is given as k r squared divided by 2. Since potential energy is only the function of r, it's not a function of theta, therefore the entire force would be in the radial direction and that would be minus of dv by dr. That's a pure gradient equation and this force now comes out to be equals to that will be minus of k times r. The negative sign indicates that the force is in the decreasing direction of r, so quite obviously directed towards the center, right? Now this is the force and here what we can do is that since my particle is moving at a distance r equals to capital R, so that force is going to be this much. And now what we'll do with this particular force, we'll try to see the equation and that will give kr equals to mv square by r and that v is going to be root of k by m multiplied by r. So that now gives me option number b as the correct option. So that was about the speed as I said that's a very very straightforward question. Now about the magnitude of the angular momentum, angular momentum about the center is supposed so that angular momentum about the center will be mvr. So all I need to do is that multiply this thing with m and r. So straightforward, there is the option hanging. Option number c would be the correct one as regard to magnitude of the angular momentum. So here goes the solution of the first question and the correct option for this would be option number b and option number c. Right then, Let's move to question number two. Question number two is another straightforward question where there is a slight and slightest element of rotational motion because the question has asked about the torque. So here a body of mass one kg at rest at origin at time t equals to zero. So begins from origin and the initial speed is zero. It is being acted upon by a force this much where alpha is 1, beta is 1, so that will be Ti cap plus 1J cap. The torque acting on the body about the origin is to be calculated at one second and that's represented by tau vector. And we need to see which of the following statements is R true. So here my force is Ti cap plus 1J cap and what are the options that I need to explore? the torque at one second, the direction of the torque, the velocity at one second and magnitude of displacement at one second. Straightforward, no any much difficulty in solving the question here. So I'll be taking 
you see the force is equal to T i cap plus of 1 j cap because alpha T i cap plus beta j cap just for the sake of your reference here is the force right you see alpha T i cap plus beta j cap so alpha and beta are 1 so therefore that will be T i cap plus 1 j cap those alpha beta are just given to satisfy the dimensional ego all right so here is this f equals to T i cap plus 1 j cap then the acceleration would be equals to T i cap plus of j cap reason being straightforward because the mass is 1 now starting from rest so you just need to integrate it that's not a big deal therefore I'm doing it directly v equals to t square by 2 i cap plus of t j cap and the final position because initial position is at origin is the simple integration of this right and this is going to give me t cube by 6 i cap plus t square by 2 j cap right then everything is done there the velocity has been calculated the final position has been calculated and yes if I need to calculate torque which is quite a simple one that will be R cross F and now there is no absolute additional thing to be added here a straightforward question as I said and when you solve this particular thing the correct option that you are going to get would be option number A and option number C the torque when you calculate the cross product of R cross F is going to come as minus k cap direction therefore option b would be disregarded and similarly option d would also not be correct so the correct option for question number two here is option number a and option number c right now time to move for question number three